In this video, we are going to learn how to aggregate data. Let's start with opening the dataset. Once this is done, we can go to data, aggregate rows, and the aggregation interface appears. On the left, uh, you see the what we call column manager, which is essentially a list of columns, and it's an interactive as well. You can use uh, that to uh, drag columns of interest into the aggregation UI. So you can, uh, for instance, drag race uh, as a key column, and uh, it would get aggregated by race. You can aggregate by multiple columns at once. So, for instance, you can aggregate by race and sex. Uh, by default, uh, the system introduced few uh, measurements uh, in the measures field. Uh, you can remove them by clicking on the X button or you can right click and change either the aggregation or uh, the column name. Of course, you can uh, uh, drag columns here as well. Another way to add columns is uh, by using that uh, plus sign. Actually, let's uh, add uh, something to the columns field, which will uh, create a pivot on the data. So we want to show uh, disease on, uh, as a pivot, and uh, the categories from that column will appear as columns. The interface is also interactive, so whenever you click uh, on a row in this uh, result table, it uh, filters row in the source table, so only uh, Caucasian females currently appear in the view. If you want, you can uh, add a viewer, uh, and it's a nice way to browse the dataset as well. The platform also remembers uh, the previous parameters that were used for the aggregation. So by clicking on that uh, clock icon, we can reuse previously entered values, which is pretty convenient. Uh, whenever you are done with the aggregation table, uh, by clicking on the OK sign, uh, the result table appears in the workspace and you can uh, continue your exploration from there. This is it. Ah, thank you.